create unique faux finishes while adding depth and dimension to your project. Let's take a look at that up next. By now, you guys know we love us some Dixie Belle, and we went out and got all of the glaze colors so we could give you a first look review and how to use it. Now, what are Dixie Belle glazes? Well, they're luminous water-based colors used to create gorgeous decorative finishes such as stripling, burnishing, aging, and color washing. You can create unique faux finishes while adding depth and dimension to your project. And the glazes can be intermixed or layered to create your own unique colors. Before we show you how to use Dixie Belle glaze, let's take a closer look at all nine colors. Looking at these colors, you will see one side that is unglazed and the other side that's glazed. Dixie Belle glazes come in nine different colors, including black, grunge, Van Dyke brown, whitewash, copper bronze, Gold Shimmer, High Ho Silver, Pearlescent, and Sapphire Pearl. Now, it's been a hot second since I've used glazes, but according to the Dixie Bell website, it is pretty easy to use. They state you can apply glazes to a clean surface, a Dixie Bell painted surface, or a clear coated surface. They recommend using white lightning to clean your surface, then apply Dixie Bell paint and allow to dry. Apply glaze in small sections and use a brush or a cloth. Wipe away excess glaze or add more if necessary. All of that seems pretty straightforward with the exception of white lightning. I don't actually have this cleaner. And what exactly is it? Well, white lightning is your first step to clean projects prior to painting. White lighting will de-grease and remove all debris from your furniture, kitchen, cabinets, or whatever you want to paint. It will prep your piece and help you achieve the best outcome for your painted masterpiece. Now, since I don't have this, I won't be utilizing it. We'll see in the final results if it made a big difference. Now, we in our test are going to be using a cupboard front. We're also going to be using the black glaze the white wash glaze and showing how you can use them together. As I mentioned earlier, it has been a while since I've worked with glazes and something wasn't right. My paint was coming up once I put the glaze on it. And so I need to sand the cupboard first. So I went back, sanded it, applied our coat of paint. Many videos do say you should then put a clear coat and I prefer the satin finish. The reason for the top coat is so your glaze is not soaked up by the chalk paint. If you do not do a top coat, that glaze could get soaked up and you will have less time to manipulate it and work with it. A top coat will allow you the ability to work with the glaze and get it exactly how you want. In this case, we are using grunge. And the first go around, we just put it all over the entire cupboard front there, used a shop towel to manipulate it and dry it and get that real nice grunge look to it. The first layer looks great, but I wanted to highlight certain parts of the cupboard front. So I grabbed the grunge glaze and the French tip Dixie Bell paintbrush and highlighted certain parts of the cupboard front. You can add as much or as little as you want and use your shop towel to manipulate the glaze so you get into every nook and cranny so you get that beautiful distressed look. Just look how amazing this looks. Now let's turn our attention to the left hand side of the cupboard front. We're going to use Dixie Belle white wash glaze and once again we'll use the French tip paintbrush and we're going to put this on pretty thick. We're going to put it all over the cupboard front using our shop towel, remove it and dry it and apply it once again. We want an overall whitewash look over the entire front and we achieved it. It's great. It worked great and you can manipulate it because of that top coat. 
Now you can use your paintbrush and shop towel for a more dramatic look. Wherever you put the glaze is where it is going to shine. So use your paintbrush to get in the nooks and crannies and use a shop towel, but don't remove all the glaze. You wanna make sure to leave the glaze in those parts you really wanna see it and allow it to dry. Let's take a look at the results. All right, let's have some fun now. Did you know you can layer glazes? That's right. We're gonna grab the black glaze. We're gonna layer it over the whitewash glaze that is finished drying. This gives a great distressed antique look to your cupboard fronts. Now, the black glaze does go on blue and when it dries, it's black. I use a paintbrush to get into the small nooks and cranny and crevices and apply a pretty healthy amount. Now you can either gently remove it with a shop towel or you can dry it a little bit with a hairdryer and then remove it with the shop towel. It depends on how dramatic you want that black glaze to be as your finished result. If you want a more dramatic look, put more glaze into it dry it with your hairdryer, and then take the shop towel and remove it. Or for a less look, you can actually put it in the nooks and crannies and grab your shop towel right away and remove it. Just remove it gently with the shop towel. It's very easy to remove all the glaze when you meant to only take a little bit. But you can keep layering and adding and mixing colors until you get the look exactly right. And I have to tell you, this glaze looks like it was professionally done and it was so easy to do. We'll do a final dry and look at that, it looks amazing. So let's take a look at our results. Now remember we did a base coat of sandbar and then we did black glaze on the top and look how amazing of a distress that looks. But I have to say, I love the bottom. That white wash with the black glaze over it is stunning. Of course, we had to try all of the colors on a drawer front, so let's take a look. We have white wash, copper bronze, high ho silver, and gold shimmer. Now remember, we put these over a base coat of sandbar but they turned out amazing. We have another four colors to look at. So first up is pearlescent, Van Dyke Brown, Sapphire Pearl, and Grunge. We placed all of these colors over a base coat of sandbar. Let's take a look at all the colors with the exception of the black. And which is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. And cleanup is easy with the scrubby. What's the scrubby? It is truly a scrubby with essential oils built into it. Just take your paintbrush, apply a little bit of the essential oils, and clean the bristles on the scrubby side. It's truly that easy. Now that all your paintbrushes are clean, you have some extra time. So take a look at some of our other Dixie Belle first look and reviews. We have reviewed, of course, Dixie Belle's chalk paint, which is our favorite paint on the market. We also have a Moonshine Metallics first look and review. And take a look at the Voodoo Gel Stain. This is no tears, so easy, and it's water-based. Plus, you're going to want to take a look at the Specialty Brushes and Synthetic Brush Review. Make sure you also support our channel by using the links below. These affiliate links help support our channel, and for that, we thank you. Of course, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching. Here are some other videos that might be of interest to you. Have a good day. Bye, everyone.